The first topic of today has a few people annoyed because Riot have announced some changes to the rank rewards. Their article mentions they didn't want to just simply copy and paste the rank rewards track for three splits and would prefer to give something extra at the end. They assured us we're not getting less. They say that they've changed the emote to no longer show your rank but that this has just moved to an end of year reward instead. They replaced a hex deck chest with a key fragment. Now when I read this I thought they were saying this is live already with split one but I think they're saying only the emote change is live now and then next split will have these chest and key changes and because the split we're in now already has one less chest and one less key compared to a split from last year that means they're going to remove a chest again and replace it with a key fragment so not even a full key so it's either live already and they forgot to add the missing key fragment or it's going to go live next split and then they say when they were adjusting the rewards for the whole year they needed to pull back a little in some places so they could plus them in others. So this is what has people annoyed at Riot. They're removing a chest again but they also make this weird statement that makes it sound like they're talking to toddlers. Since they're adjusting rewards for the whole year they had to make sure that they took away from other places. It's such a bizarre thing to say and people think it makes Riot sound stingy. Riot also announced changes to the Victoria skin requirement. So 80 split points if you are gold or higher or 1000 split points if you are under gold. The first skin of the year is Victorious Cogmore and the second split skin is for Sona. Medler mentions they're testing out revealing the Victorious skins in advance and whether that has an impact on player engagement and champ pick rates. Here's a chart of the new rewards which shows the end of split icon and emote is now going to be at the end of season showing your highest rank across all the splits. They've also added Victorious skin splash borders which you can only unlock if you obtained all three Victorious skins in the year. So this actually sounds like a cool addition. I think this would be a good update overall if they didn't have to go out of their way to remove chest and also make a point of stating it in the way they did. For some people these changes might be better but for others the chests were a good source of free skin and champion shards. Now to play Teemo's advocate here we are expecting to get more hex deck chests from the mastery rework and a supercharged chest but to get these chests it requires a lot more games and not to mention this will be a lot harder for ARAM players and one tricks. So technically Riot have increased the overall rewards but they do require a lot more games to grind which is probably their intention. They want people engaged for longer. Speaking of mastery, Riot has announced that getting mastery will be easier under the new system since it will no longer factor in team performance and Midler said in the dev video that losing games will progress mastery better than it does now and we finally have a date for the mastery changes which will be on May 15th with patch 14.10. A lot of the feedback around the mastery changes are on their visual design. Many people are comparing it to mobile games and I'm sure Riot have seen this feedback but they haven't really responded to it. So it seems to be already locked in and will most likely get pushed to live looking like this. Now going back to free reward nerfs you may have noticed a change to Microsoft rewards. The points you get from daily tasks seem to be a lot less and some of the article searches aren't working at all. So what this means is it's going to take a lot longer to unlock RP gift cards or hex deck codes. For a lot of people it's not even worth doing anymore. I kind of half ass it and only do the quick daily points but can't be bothered maxing the points anymore. A tip I can give you is when you're doing the search points you can just button mash random searches. It doesn't have to be actual words. I haven't seen this tip before so it might be useful for some of you. The RP gift cards aren't on the site at the moment but they're probably just restocking them so it should be up soon. This seems to happen every few months. Moving on Riot have announced a new PvE mode for the Midsummer event and it's a Bullet Heaven Survivor mode which is different to the Bullet Hell mode with Valkos in it. Riot August is design lead for this mode. The mode won't have the full roster of champions but they aim to have a variety of champs and playstyles. And Arena is set to return for a four month run which I think makes it the first time at least in recent years that two rotating game modes will be live at the same time. I'm hoping this doesn't give them an excuse to say player count was low for the modes because obviously people will be split between them. The drop off rate for each mode will be what's important here. This run of Arena will allow replays and spectating. You'll be able to queue up as 1 to 8 players or a full 16 pre-made lobby which means you won't be able to queue up as a 9 to 5 player pre-made. Lee Sin's update is due on May 1st with patch 14.9 and Teemo is targeted for patch 14.20. It turns out the Malphite visual update was actually an accidental leak and it's a work in progress. They're testing out a different approach to visual updates to see how it compares to more common update methods so it's not confirmed yet. Next up the MSI patch preview for 14.8 has been revealed with buffs for Akali, Draven, Galio, 
Graves, Gwen, Huey, J4, Jin, Kaiser, LeBlanc, Olaf, Rise, Silas, Thresh, Viego, and Yone. So a lot of popular skin cells right there. Then nerfs to Azir, Briar, Zack, and Zeri. Then adjustments to Mordekaiser and Skunner. The Mordekaiser one is actually huge. His ultimate will no longer be Q accessible. Thanks for watching. See you next time.